Hey there everybody, Upstart DJ here, and yes, after so many months of waiting, after waiting for so, so long, Pokemon fans rejoice because it is time to finally let's play the third Pokemon game in the series. We're done with Kanto, we're done with Johto, they were a breeze, it's time to take on the third region of Pokemon, and this time guys it's called Hoenn, which is a funny name for a region, don't you think? We see a legendary Pokemon fly in the background, so there's legendary Pokemon all over this game. But with brand new Pokemon, brand new plots to foil and brand new ways of battling. There's new starters, there's new friends, there's even a new professor we can talk to, and boy is he a stylish guy. It is finally time to let's play the mighty Pokemon Sapphire. Oh yes. Been waiting a long time to do this one, guys. It's a post-commentary, so it's going to be a little bit different, but I'm hoping you will enjoy it all the same. Let's start a new game, shall we? Let's talk to uh, this handsome guy, this uh, professor in his khaki shorts. Oh, yes. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, that's quite all right. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Why, thank you. My name is Birch. Oh, <laughs> what a silly name. Yes, this is Professor Birch, and he will be your professor for this game, just like Oak in the first game. And he just tells you here what Pokemon are for. If you've never played a Pokemon game before, he just says that Pokemon are, for, uh, are used for playmates, used for battling, used as workmates. You know, they're generally the slaves of the Pokemon worlds, which is kind of a bad thing, but we enjoy it anyway. Who are we? Well, uh, first of all, I am indeed a boy. Last time I checked anyway. And as my name is Dan, I'm going to be calling myself Dan. Which is a pretty good reason to be calling myself Dan, don't you think? <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, you're a dad who's moving to my hometown of Little Roots. But how do you know this? Crazy. It's like you've come to us in a dream asking us these questions. It's, it's, it's crazy, I tell you. But yes, we are moving to our new hometown of Little Roots, but we have to go see them at the Pokemon Lab. But hey, what's this? At the start of the game, you're actually in the back of a truck. Have we been kidnapped by some, some nasty group? Are they going to take us to somewhere abandoned and beat us up for answers or something? Not quite. Game Freak aren't that sadistic yet. It's actually a moving truck, even though there's no roads. Hey, Mom. Ah, oh, this is our mom, and mom's always nice, isn't it? She's just telling us that um, we've moved to Little Root Town, and this is our new house. And she says it's nice and quaint and easy, an easy place to live, even though there's only three houses in this town. Yes, it's a small town. And hell, look, we have some machokes here, being our slaves, doing all the clean-up work and lifting everything. Now, oh, and Dad's bought us a new clock as well. Get excited, guys. Now, I know what this guy up here is doing. He's moving boxes around. Yeah, that's fine. But what's this guy doing? He's humping the television and making really strange erotic noises. That ain't good. <laughs> but just like in the first Pokemon game, if you boot your PC and go to item storage, you can withdraw a potion. It's always nice to have a free potion, so I recommend you do it. And we also need to set the clock as well. Um, I, I don't know if I did the right time here. It, it has no bearing on the Let's Play, so don't worry about timing. Although, I obviously did worry about timing. I just wanted to get it exactly right. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, yes, set the clock quicker, please, Upstart DJ. Yes, but why didn't I just go the other way around? God, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Anyway, yes, that looks perfect to me. And once we've done that, Mum will come in. Dan, how do you like your new room? It's fantastic. I love the GameCube. Yes, they've added a GameCube, which is awesome. But anyway, the Machokes have done humping our television, so let's head downstairs. Let's see what's going on. Oh, what does Mum want? Oh, Dan, Dan, come quickly. Why, what's on television? Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. Dad? We brought you this report from Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. Oh, we missed it. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Why was Dad on, though? Oh, we've got to see Professor Birch. Yes, we, we saw Professor Birch in a dream. However, I'd rather explore the town first. So let's go next door to the second of three houses. Yes, let's bust in. Hello, I'm here for your television. Uh, no, I'm not really. Hello, my name is Dan. Who the hell are you? Yes, I am Dan, your new next-door neighbour. We have a daughter about the same age as you. 
I don't care. Uh, oh, fine, we'll go see her. Oh, and, and look, she has a room which is uh, kind of like ours. We'll delete all of her uh, game saves from her uh, GameCube. And here she is. This is May. May is the daughter of Professor Birch, and she's a very studious kind of character. And she's always reading up, and she's always researching Pokemon, and, you know, she's a bit of a nerd. She's, she also fancies us just a little bit. She has a bit of a crush on us. She gets so giggly when she talks to us. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Well, May likes to help catch Pokemon for Birch, so that's where she's going. She's off to Route 103 or something crazy like that. But we need to find Professor Birch, so let's go to the other house, shall we? Which is the Pokemon Laboratory. Let's see what's going down in here. Hello, Professor Birch? No? No, Professor Birch? Are you Professor Birch? Huh? Professor Birch? He's away on field work. Uh, no, no, don't explain field work. I don't have time for this. No, please stop explaining field work. No, please stop. Oh, God, how boring was that? Okay, so he's not in town, so, um, yeah, let's leave. Can we actually leave, though? Hey, what's up, kid? I can hear someone shouting down the road. What should I do? What should... Oh, my God, someone's in trouble. Help me! Okay, who are you? What's wrong, man? You're being chased by some kind of wolf? Hello? You over there? Please help me! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! I'll save you, dude! And here are your starter Pokémon. There's the Grass-type Pokémon Trico. However, as I pick Bulbasaur in Let's Play Pokémon Red, won't be picking him. Torchic, who is a Fire-type, won't be picking Torchic either because we picked Cyndaquil in Let's Play Pokémon Silver. So that just leaves the Mudkip, and I sure do like the Mudkip. So we're going to be picking the Water-type Mudkip. I really do like the Mudkip. And here we have a Poochiena, level 2. It's a dark type, it's a female, but you didn't need to know that. And because it's only level 2, it will only take a couple of tackles. It's not like in previous games where it'll be a level 5 versus a level 5 and all you'd be doing would be tackling all day. Obviously we don't level up though. Phew! I was in tall grass studying well Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Dan. Yes, I am indeed Dan. Now give me my starter Pokemon, please. So, Dan, what? I've heard so much about you from your father. Yes, I, I don't even know who my father is, apart from he was on television at Petalburg or whatever. He's just basically saying that we are like our father, who is obviously some kind of famous battler. And because we're so awesome, he gives us a mudkip. Because I sure do like those mudkips. No, I do not have an imagination yet, so I still can't nickname Pokemon. Anyway, he tells us that we should go find his kid, May, on Route 103. Why don't we do that, shall we? And so we exit Professor Birch's lab. We're on an adventure now. We're heading north. So let's see what kind of Pokemon we'll meet. Route 101 is fairly standard. There's just a couple of patches of grass. And we might may meet our first new Pokemon here. Well, I suppose third behind Mudkip and, you know, uh, Poochiena. This is Zigzagoon. He is a raccoon and he has zigzags on him. He is a normal type Pokemon. And again, only being level 2, it shouldn't take too long. It does use Growl on us which will lower our physical attack because Tackle is a normal type move which is a physical type of, uh, you know, type and that isn't good but it does still only take three tackles to kill it we'll get 17 experience, still no level up unfortunately we'll pass this kid and one more Pokemon battle? No, we're safe so we're in Old Dale Town now and Old Dale Town is a nice quaint little town but who the hell are you? Oh wait, whoa, whoa, what dude? Please don't come in here. You've discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon? Oh, okay, I'll let, I'll let you sketch them because I really want to know who that rare Pokemon is. <laughs> Believe me. Oh, Route 103, though. This is where May is, okay? But we have a Pokemon battle, of course. Random battles galore. And we see another new Pokemon. This is Wingull, a water and flying type Pokemon, just like Gyarados. And it uses Water Gun on us, which will do nothing because it's a water type move and we are a water type Pokemon. So we obviously resist it. Level 3, a little bit stronger, but Tackle should do it in 3 hits, maybe. Let's get another Tackle going on. Uh, yes, 3 hits should do it. Growl will lower our attack, but still, Tackle should do it. One more Tackle, and Mudkip is an absolute destroyer. Yes, go Mudkip! So manly. We get to level 6, and we do learn a new move, which is Mudslap, a base 20 
physical ground type move, which can lower accuracy. But as, as we go north here, hey look, it's May. Let's talk to May. Hey May, let's see. The Pokemon found in Route 103 include. Oh my God. Oh hi Dan. Hey. Oh I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. I know, isn't he great? A quick battle, you say? Oh great. Let's have a battle. And yes, this is the rival battle. May is your rival. You'll be meeting her throughout the journey uh, to becoming a Pokemon Master. And as she is the Pokemon rival, she will trump you for type. She will pick the Pokemon type, which beats your type. So we picked the water type Pokemon. Grass is strong against water, so she will pick the grass type Pokemon. But we get a critical hit, which is always nice. Critical hit roughly does about double damage. There's there's more to it than that, but basically that's what I'm going to tell you. And we get to level 7 because we get a chunk of experience. Awesome. Wow, that's great. Dan, you're pretty good. No, I'm amazing, mate. <laughs> Anyway, she needs to get back to the Pokemon lab, so, uh, you know, why don't we uh, go back to the Pokemon lab? And she will run away. No, she does not know how to teleport like her father. But I just wanted to show you the Pokemon pages here. You'll see Ability and Trainer Memo. It will say Adamant and it will say Torrent. I'll explain what that's all about later on. But if you can see from Mudkip's stats, very defensive type of, type of Pokemon, high HP, high defense pretty high special defense and a pretty good attack as well. So we're going to be mainly using it as a physical attacker and we're also going to be using it as a bit of a wall as well, a defensive Pokemon. Oh hey mate, what's up? Dan, over here! Yeah, I can see you. Let's hurry home. Yes, I was going home anyway, you didn't need to remind me. As we walk by Route 101, I know it's a very slow start, but believe me guys, it does quicken up. The game does go a bit quicker later on. Well, not later on, second episode to be honest, so, you know, let's get through this one and we'll be fine. Hey Birch, what's up? Oh hi Dan, I heard you beat May on your first try. Yes, she is rubbish at battling. May's been helping with my research. God love her. Yes, you know, they like to help each other. But he's ordered us a present, and this present is a Pokedex, and that is the item that we have received. A Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. Super! So every time we see a Puchiena or, you know, any kind of Pokemon like that, we will have it in our Pokedex. And, you know, usually in Pokemon you've got to try and catch them all, or meet them all at least. We're not going to be doing that in the Let's Play. And May, being the nice, generous soul that she is, and also because she has a major crush on us, she gives us five Pokeballs, which we'll be using very, very soon. So that's pretty handy as well. So now we can finally leave Little Root Town. Oh, wait, no, we can't because Mom wants us. Wait, Dan! What's up, Mom? Dan, Dan, did you introduce yourself to Birch? I did. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. Yes, because my mom likes the Mudkips as well. <laughs> Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. And believe me, running shoes are the greatest addition to any Pokemon game ever. I was so happy when I first saw these because in Pokemon Red and Pokemon Silver, it was a very slow game because you always had to walk or, you know, ride a bike. But to get to the bike, you had to get into the menus and all that. But here with running shoes, look how fast we go! It's like riding a bike on our on our shoes. It's awesome. I love it. But we do have a random battle here. Who do we have? We have yet another Zigzagoon. Yes, Mudkips eat Zigzagoons for breakfast. So let's take this one out, shall we? Couple of tackles. We are levels. Oh, one tackle. Awesome. Critical hit. God, Mudkip, I love you already. <laughs> Seventeen experience. We're we're halfway to another level already. We're almost level eight. How awesome is that? But let's take a look in the Pokemon Center. See if anything's different. Uh, not too not too different, really. It's got a nice shade of orange. If you don't know, the Pokemon Center is where you come to heal your Pokemon. Just give them to this nice lady, and she will heal all of your Pokemon for free, which is nice of her. She should really charge. She'd make a she'd make a killing, wouldn't she? But let's see if the dude is finished. Yes, he must be finished. What rare Pokemon was it? I finished sketching the footprints of the rare Pokemon. Really? Who was it? I'm so excited. Oh, they're your own footprints. Oh. Uh, that that's disappointing. Oh well, what can you do? Anyway guys, I'm out of time, so I have to end it here. But we're on a brand new adventure. Where are we going next? Find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. See you later guys.